Hey Vita fans, welcome to another Introduction 2 video, this time covering a Tomei visual novel, Code Realized, Guardian of Rebirth. Now before we get into some gameplay and the introduction to the story, we're going to jump into the settings menu right quick as any real visual novel fan will want to know what they can customize to their liking. Alright, so we've got four basic menus here, game settings, sound settings, selection sound, and button configuration. In game settings, we've got skip mode, your skip autoplay settings, text speed, and main character icon. Uh, I'll point that out in game when we get there in a moment. In sound settings, we've got volume levels for background music, movie, sound effects, voice, and individual character settings. In selection sound, we can turn all those things off. Alright, here we've got button configuration. It's pretty self-explanatory. You can set any button you want for any action you want. Um, I don't believe things like moving the analog stick can be set, but pretty much anything else goes. Um, right quick, I'm just going to switch it to mine here that I prefer, so bear with me. Alright, now that that's settled, back to the game. So now that we've chosen to start a new game, we need to choose a name for our female protagonist. I'm going to go with the offered name Cardia, as it's the name in the opening credits. Uh, that said, it really doesn't matter what you put, as if they're giving the, you the option, I'm sure anything will work. Now that we've settled on a name, however, it's onto the prologue and into the game for us. So some harsh words from a father to his daughter there, calling her a monster. What exactly does that mean? Well, we're not quite sure yet, but we'll trudge on and we'll find out. Starting with six years later, apparently. London Bridge is falling down. Falling down, falling down. Lonely bridges falling down. My dear lady, Lonely 
ビーチスうるせえんだよさっきからなんだよ人が気持ちよく作業してたのにさ鼻歌くらいいいじゃんかあのなもっと緊張感持てよこれから正規のお宝盗み出そうってんだぜ俺の緊張感はいつかも持ちませんロンドンが懐かしいうまい酒うまい料理美しい女たち<笑>仕方ねえだろ俺だってこんなに待つと思わなかったんだよもうさ横からかっさらうとかじゃなくて自分たちで見つけちゃった方が早いんじゃないのそっちの方が危なくないじゃんそれができるならとっくにやってるこの地方ってだけしか情報がねえんだあとは連中の後を追っかけるしかねえだろうその連中がいつまでたってもやってこないわけだけどそそのうちやってくるんだよいいか泥棒ってのはな入念な準備と気を待つ忍耐だろうこの5日で何回聞いたことかもうセリフ覚えちゃったよこの間みてえに爆発しねえだろうな<笑>何言ってんのするわけないじゃん俺ってば世界一の天才騎士よ安心しなこの俺が保証するお前の保証ほどは当てになんねえもんはいや待てAlright, so pausing there for a second, it looks like two guys are waiting for something to be stolen or transported so they can steal it themselves. So, kind of odd, but let's jump back in and see what's going on.
入念な準備火を見る忍耐はどこに行ったんだよ。その言葉には続きがある。そして時には大胆に。そうでなくては泥棒は務まらない。生きて戻ってくれよお前にはまだまだ手を借りたいんだからさ<笑>誰に向かって物言ってやがるこの俺様がちょっとやそっとで死ぬもんかよ隊長殿、屋敷の包囲、完了しました。ご苦労、屋敷から逃げるものがあれば、必ず捕らえよう。
はそう記されていたがこれはそのままの意味なのだろうか警戒をする必要があるのでしょうか。我が物、何者かはわからないが、相手は怪物とのことだ。女王陛下のケンタル我々には不名誉な失敗など許されん。反乱を廃してことにあたり、万一の失敗も事前に防ぐ。これがナイトの進むべき道だ。全員第一級警戒態勢第一班を先頭に第二班第三班突入こちらも異常なし All right, so pausing here for a moment, it looks like Leonhardt, which is the leader of the army that is converging on this mansion in the middle of the woods,、um, is looking for a monster. Which we kind of heard maybe something about that at the start of this video.、Um, and he is on orders from different people and kind of some other things. So we got some backstory there and we kind of know a little bit more about why things are unfolding the way they are.、Um, but let's, let's jump back in and, and see how it, this plays out. So here we go.
つなのか隊長殿捕獲すべき怪物とはこの少女のことなのですかおおにわかには信じがたいがどうやらそのようだどんな化け物が出てくるかと思えばこんな娘とはなバカ警戒を怠るな落ち着け落ち着けって何なんだよこれは警戒しても相手はやはり怪物だ動くな一歩でも動けば撃ち殺すぞ距離を取って囲め出てしまえばそれだけで殺されるうろたえるなレディに銃を向けてはならない<音声>しかし隊長殿相手は怪物ですそんな悠長なことを。理解はしている我が輩も共に見ていたのだから確かに驚くべきことだ。だが、落ち着くんだ。見てみろ。彼女は敵対するつもりはないようだぞ。
条件に関しても一瞬だが彼女は静止しようとした先の出来事は意図的に起こされたものではない So pausing there for a minute, um, it looks like Cardia, our female protagonist, is the monster and she is also apparently the little girl that was being talked down to horribly by her father at the start of the video. So um, yeah, I, I don't know. She doesn't seem to be, you know, very harmful on purpose. As the as Leonhart pointed out there, um, so yeah, I don't know. Some something's obviously gonna happen, um, and and it looks like maybe she's the one that those two unknowns are after. So let's let's jump back in and see what happens here. Anymore, though. 
われらをはやる英国兵としての修行か。もちろん、よーく知ってるさ。どこだどこから聞こえるお,おいあれを見ろあの廃墟の上だお役目ご苦労誇り高き英国王室のこの衛兵がこんな田舎町で人さらいとは女王陛下もさぞ鼻が高いことだろうな。That's a good place to pause for a second. Um, first of all, I want to point out bottom left corner there, that picture of Cardia. That's that, um, I believe it was character portrait that it mentions in the settings uh, that I said I was going to point out. There we go, that's what that means. Um, and also, now we have this Lupin character who is out there for Cardia as well. So, another person looking for the monster that is apparently so bad that they have to walk her away. Um, kind of interesting. Um, and also, it's kind of interesting that he's there because who else was there? Well, those two guys. And I believe this is one of those two guys. So We've met our first one.
というものいいだ。泥棒風情が流行る英国の信仰を邪魔するなど、不届き千万。全員、総力を持ってあの男を捕獲せよ。は、全全員銃撃用意。お、急ぎ銃撃を。何？銃撃用意。まま待て待て待て。うわどこに行った
なるなせっかくの美人が台無しなのだ君に力抜いて俺に全部任せろ何も怖がることはねえこのアルセーヌルパン欲しいものは必ず手に入れる失敗の確率は常にゼロだ<音楽>さて最後のダメ押しといこうかね。Pausing there for a moment. Looks like we've been, well, at the least kidnapped, at the most saved by this Arsene Lupin character who somehow didn't get killed by bullets and outsmarted Leonhardt and his men. Um, but yeah, we really don't know what kind of situation we're in here because we don't know who the hell this guy is and what his motives are, so. Yeah, we're kind of in the same situation we were in, only with a nicer guy who maybe doesn't think you're quite a monster. I don't know. Yes, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. なんだ。気になるか大丈夫だよ。店の痕跡を<笑>
や、傑作だったな。連中の顔見たかよ。王室のこの兵が聞いて呆きれるぜ。<笑>隊長である私を見抜けないとは、それでもお前たちはこの兵かって、見事にハマってよ。なあ、お前もそう思う。どうしたなんかつらそうだなまさか逃げるときにどっか痛めたかどこだどこが痛む隠す必要はないから行ってみろあなたのハートを盗みに来ました。そう、言葉通りにハートさ。だが、ただで盗むってわけじゃねえぜ。美しいご令嬢を悲しませるのは趣味じゃない。お前からハートを盗む代わりに、一つだけお前の願いを叶えてやるよ。
諦めてしまえたのなら楽になるのに I cannot なぜ求めてしまうの心に灯る無垢な愛は悲しいとだろう頼んだまま Alright guys, so that was the prologue of Code Realized Guardian of Rebirth. You may have noticed, well, I hope you did, that all the spoken bits were voiced in Japanese, but the non-spoken bits aren't narrated at all. This makes for something slightly less appealing than a fully Japanese voice game, though personally it hasn't bothered me too much. Also. Uh, though there were no choices in the prologue, they are present in later chapters. I'm not sure to what extent, as I'm only partway through the game, but they definitely are present. Anyways, now that we've been through Code Realizes intro, hopefully you have a good handle on what the game's about, the premise anyway, and how it handles, so you should be able to make a decision on whether or not to buy it. Lastly, before I go and leave you to your decision on whether to buy the game, I'm considering doing a Let's Play and would love some input on the following. A. Would you like to see a Let's Play of this by me? B. As it's not completely narrated, would you want me to narrate it? And C. Would you want me to narrate the voice bits too, or just the non-voice bits? So basically what I'm asking here is, do you want me to mute the characters' voices and narrate their voices as well to make it all in English? Would love to get your opinion, and I will put a link to the Let's Play in the annotations to this video if I do end up making one. Thanks for joining me for an introduction to Code Realize, Guardian of Rebirth. I'm Kyle from the Vita Lounge, this is our Lounge Play channel, and I hope we've given you some of the information you need to make an informed decision about this game. See you next time.